might as well start playing the game. A game that so far has the uh, the high praise of being the most game-like of all the games we've played. Now, oh, Mr. Baggins, we need you to scout out a path to the Misty Mountains. You had better hurry. The daylight is fading fast. Shouldn't we wait until morning, then? I guess not. Do you ever climb the vines? <laughs> Just such a wistful uh, tutorial question. Do you ever climb the vines? I used to climb the vines before Deborah left. No doubt you miss your comfortable home and fireplace. Gandalf asks with a smirk. Rude wizard. Very rude wizard. Is this purple guy a bad guy or no? Just a weird purple. Is that? Oh, no, it is a bad guy. <laughs> it's a weird little spider in a purple cone that only follows you when you're not looking at it. it it's, it's like a boo, but a spider or something. I'm not sure it quite qualifies as a silly little guy, but it's, uh, I know it's, um, it's a creepy little guy. <laughs> Is that something? Maybe. It looks like a purple wizard's hat when you're facing it. But then when you look away, it's got little ins. I think I'm the silly little guy. As the silly little guy aficionado. Uh, so see, it's like this purple cone right here. Okay. But then when you look away, I don't think it's very silly. It's not, that is our hermit crab. That is not yeah. a silly little guy. That's a hermit crab. But also, uh, fighting it does nothing unless I draw it out first. It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird little guy. But then it's definitely a hermit crab little guy. Uh, not a silly little guy. The quest continues. The hunt continues. So far, silly little guys are the only way that the uh, GameCube version of this game outdoes the Game Boy Advance version. It does. Got, um,. Giant parrots, green eagles, pterodactyls, maybe? We got Day of the Tentacle going on here. This is a Sierra game, not a LucasArts game. Why is there a Day of the Tentacle tentacle? Oh, climbing the vines, of course. I should have known after whichever dwarf that was asked me so wistfully if I ever climbed the vines. Not since the Academy. <laughs> you know, I keep getting coins, and I have yet to encounter any scenario where coins are useful. And that's not to say they don't exist in this game. I just don't know where... Oh, who's this elf? Good day, sir. Are you looking for someone? My dog has run away. Maybe he is looking for adventure. An elf has lost his dog. Well, I hope it's not one of the wolves I killed. Oh, how do you guys get up here? What miserable weather. I wish we were back at Rivendell. Glad you haven't got a hood to keep off the rain. Really, Killy, scout ahead and find a campsite. There must be a cave or a hole around here somewhere. I will help them find it. Okay, that looks like where plot is, so let me climb up uh, to where vines are first. See if I can find the elf's dog again. Hope it's not this wolf I'm killing. Okay, I activated a bridge, and that's probably something I will need later to talk to whatever elf that is. Oh, oh, these freaking crab experiments. Let me fall in this hole. Is this bat vomiting green at me? I'm not sure what's happening. Does this count as a cave to make the dwarves happy? I need to clarify, this game's not particularly good. It's just also not particularly awful the way some of the others have been. Like, it's basically functional in a way that some games weren't. Oh, is this the dog? <laughs> so, Bilbo Baggins has found my dog. Here is a skill rune. Okay, so in the actual text of Tolkien, Bilbo made up the poem that eventually became Hey Diddle Diddle, the Cat and the Fiddle. So did this elf make up the poem that eventually became Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? And I am sorry it's not something tastier for a hobbit's hungry Bill. Okay, you don't need a fat shame, Bilbo. You did just save your dog. Oh. He has saved game, because if you're asking me, there's probably, uh... Ooh, we got rocks bouncing down. Is this about to be a uh, Middle Earth Donkey Kong? I've officially lost all sense of geography. It's fine. You should try it. <laughs> I mean, in the text, the cave we eventually do find to sleep in isn't safe to sleep in either, because that's where the goblins come out. This is still not what I would call a good game. It's just the least frustrating of all the games I've played for Tolkien Month so far. Across all three... Whoa! Hey! Giant googly-eyed horseshoe crab. And I'm dead. 
This is exactly what the Daniels were referencing. This looks like a good place to sleep. Ah, it will keep us dry at least. I wonder why nothing lives here. We found a cave where we could all fit, and it is dry. Did you explore it thoroughly? Yes, yes, it isn't all that big and doesn't go far back. <laughs> Look at the sleeping dwarves. Am I dreaming? Well, if it's uh, the Russian version, yes. It looks like that crack in the wall is opening. <laughs> synchronized goblin, synchronized goblin, synchronized goblin, synchronized goblin. Help, goblins! Build those yell awakened Gandalf in a, in, in a splintered second. In a second with a splinter in its paw. There was a terrible flash like lightning and several goblins fell dead. But not enough, thanks Gandalf. The remaining goblins grabbed Bilbo and the dwarves and carried them through the crack in the wall. The crack in the cave snapped shut, leaving Bilbo and the dwarves in the darkness with cruel chuckling goblins. But where was Gandalf? You tell me, narrator. <laughs> What is this time baby great goblin we got here? Who are these miserable persons? Dwarves and this creature. They were on our front porch, oh great goblin. We are only travelers seeking shelter from the storm. We did not mean to trespass. Spies, thieves, and probably friends of elves. Oh, you're going to throw us under with guilt by association, eh? Slash them, beat them, bite them, gnash them. Take them away to dark holes and never let them see the light again. So you want to take us down, down to Goblin Town, down, down to Goblin Town, down, down to Goblin Town. You go by... Oh, fireworks. <laughs> Just trust us, that was a sword uh, being swiped. He carries the hated sword foe hammer. Kill them! They have murdered the Great Goblin! Just trust us on this. Follow me quick! Gandalf still, uh, smirking as ever. <laughs> and then off camera, uh, Bilbo got separated. Hello! Oh, bother. Lost in the Goblin's cave. Bilbo the Hobbit. Bilbo the Hobbit. I'm killing way more goblins than Bilbo does canonically in the book. I feel this is not necessarily the way I'm, quote, supposed to go. But um, this still seems less confusing than the equivalent uh, Missy Mountains level in the, quote, real game. I like the, you know, different decor. Like, each room looks like it has a function in goblin culture. I, I, I like that aspect, where each room has, like, things just for aesthetics. <laughs> Bilbo just flipped up and took down a goblin all by his lonesome. This port is, you know keeping the other game's tradition of just taking forever to just fucking get to Gollum. Yeah, it's it's one of those ideas that I really get why it made sense on paper. But uh it's especially when they were already as I talked about before, the the, the sexification of Aragorn had already been amped up so much. I really get why it made sense on paper and I'm really glad uh cooler heads prevailed. It would have been, like, Aragorn versus Sauron is a cool fan film idea, but it's uh, not a cool actual adaptation idea. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. Just blop. Purple, pure elven spring water. Now, does pure elven spring water increase my health? Oh, it uh, fills me all the... That's good to know. <laughs> For the life of me, I can't figure out what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. Oh, wow. We have started all the way back here now. Well, let me get a better sense of geography this time, I guess. I just want to get to Riddles in the Dark. That's farther than I got on the Game Boy, or on the GameCube game last year. Eh. I used... It's saving the fact that I used up most of my Elven Spring water, so thanks for that inventory. And sneaking. Until I get a key that I have no idea what it's used. I am going to, uh, save state here use the emulator in my favor and then i'm gonna try just uh going for it kill them all i guess i got five bottles of spring water from that uh yeah you better run oh can i go up here no i can't why can't i why can't i climb onto whatever that ledge is okay well um killing those guys did not solve my problem so, uh, hmm. Yeah, let me, uh, just quickly Google, uh, Hobbit 
the GBA walkthrough. Sneak past the sleeping goblins to take the key from the chest and sneak back out. Take the right path this time. Kill the goblin guard awaiting your entrance. In the lower right corner of the room is an imprisoned goblin. Hold on a second. I did not know about this room. That's what's up. This is what I missed. I could go to the right in that room. There we go. I did think it was... Okay, yeah, this is clearly what the key is for. Many thanks. With this room, you will, with this room, you will have the strength of two. So is that like a goblin traitor? What's going on there? Okay. I think from here, hopefully I can figure out next steps. There we go. <laughs> so I didn't need a switch or anything. Just that goblin I set free who was imprisoned by the other, imprisoned by the other goblins for reasons. Probably if I saw him before I got the key, he would have told me why he was imprisoned. A prison for being a dwarf sympathizer. It is, this was also true in the uh, GameCube game, but it is interesting seeing how, like, the goblins have converted these dwarven mines in for their own purposes. That's a decent bit of art design. That, that feels true to Tolkien. Oh, I fell down a hole. Ah, are we getting to Gollum? Are we getting to Gollum? We're getting to the dialogue from Gollum. Go back. No good stall. Go sideways. Impossible. Go forward. Only thing to do. What's this on the ground? A ring! <laughs> I have finally officially gotten farther in the narrative than I did in the GameCube version. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Would it be possible to fully miss that? Okay, hold on a second. I I'm going to try something. Can I just equip the ring now? Can I? No? Do I not actually have it in my usable inventory? <laughs> okay, well, that would have been fun to mess with canon, but uh, not an option. I didn't realize that the l underground lake would be, like, the shores would be this green. Now I'm really stuck. I don't know how long or deep this water is, or what might be hiding in it. Here it comes. <laughs> bless us and bless us, my precious. A tasty marshal it looks. Like, yes, go. I am Mr. Bilbo Baggins. I just want to get out of here. Perhaps you sit here and chat with it a bit, see, my precious. It likes radar. It is practice, does it? It must have a competition with us. Is this going to be actually playable? <laughs> if it wins, we show it the way out. If we wins, we gobble it up. That nah, doesn't seem playable. <laughs> Bil Bilbo doesn't even agree to it. He just goes straight into riddle mode. Oh, we're going to get another one of those adaptations where Bilbo deliberately asks a non-riddle, aren't we? Okay, well, hey. Okay. Thirty white horses on a red hill. First they stamp, then they champ. Now they stand still. Easy you think, but we only have six. As twig grows, branch shrinks. As branch shrinks, tree grows. A burning candle dripping on a table. As Bilbo was trying to think of his next riddle, his hand touched the ring in his pocket, which he had... So they did not actually gamify uh, riddles in the dark. Yeah, it it, it it's like kind of trying to play it uh, both both ways, where it it, it it's like ambiguous. I'm I'm sure the mandate was very specifically it can't look like the movie design, and it draw it honestly draws a little from the amphibious design of Rankin Bass, but uh, not so much for them to sue either, which he had forgotten about. Okay, no, <laughs> this adaptation actually does it better than a shocking. Utterly high number of them. He said to himself, What have I got in my pocket? Gollum thought the question was a riddle that he couldn't answer. Then they really abridged it in narration, but this is for the Game Boy. They honestly have more dialogue than I expected a Game Boy Advance game to have. Angry over losing the riddle game, Gollum left to get his precious, his magic ring, but he couldn't find it. Lost it is, my precious. Oh, and, and Bilbo's just automatically wearing it. What has it got in its packages? Curse him and crush him. The nasty baggage has got my precious. Make haste to the back door. He thinks I know the way out. That means he's headed for the exit. If I follow him, he'll lead me right out. I am not, I am not controlling this. Okay, now I'm following him. That's um, a way to do it. So this part is slightly gamified, I guess. I guess I jumped over him. Thief baggage, we hate it, we hate it. We hate it forever. Oh, he's over there and he's gone. I wonder if I could have chosen not to let pity stay my hand. I actually want to go back and find out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's worth going through all this again just to find out if I can actually uh, destroy the fate of Middle-earth by destroying Go uh, Gollum because it was a pity I didn't stab that vile creature when I had a chance. 
I don't know what they would have done to make Riddles in the Dark playable other than give the Riddles multiple choice uh, questions. It turned the Riddles into multiple choice questions. But I don't, like, it feels weird that, like, the most important chapter in the book is just a cutscene. Let me go ahead and uh, save state here. All right. Stop. <laughs> the closer I get to him, he just automatically runs out. Yeah, that would have been a good a good way to do it. Um, <laughs> how appropriate. You clamp and stand still like a tooth. I can't jump while sneaking. Sneaking. I'll write this in my journal. This does not seem like the time, Bilbo. I think this is a... Uh, decent time to call it a day. Yeah, we will continue this tomorrow. This is officially the first game of the season that I'm playing uh, three times. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, uh, stream's public tomorrow. And uh, until then, this is Dave signing off. Ooh.